Good afternoon. Welcome to Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for April 4th to the 18th. Let me try to adjust this a little bit. That's a little bit too much. Okay, um, this is for the forecast period for April 4th to 18th, April 4th to the 8th. We have this ridge that, remain, that remains near uh, Alaska and Hawaii, and another ridge here over Greenland into the northern states, and a split flow here across the East Sea, and they split, I mean, across the country, and they split here in the eastern states. Um, the low normal heights cover much of the country, as you can see right there. Now, a closed low off the northeast will track into Atlantic early next week. We'll go to the surface. We have this low. And um, another low will move into from the eastern Pacific into the west later this week, tracking into the north central states early next week. Now, um, the closed low that moves into the west, we'll put, go here, we'll look at the GFS, will bring significant wraparound into the northeast, will bring significant wraparound of snow here across New England. I kind of made a mistake with the um, uh, automatic spell check. It's supposed to be the northeast, not the northwest. Wraparound early spring snows across New England. The flow off the Atlantic could keep coastal areas warm enough for sleet and rain. The upper low, now we're going to talk about the west. The upper low entering the west, along with cold air for Canada, will likely bring record cold maximum temperatures through Southern, Calif uh, through Southern California. Uh, we'll take a look at the anomalies here. Uh, which map is that? Okay. Uh, look at the record. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this for the 4th through the 8th. These are maximum cold temperatures. You see here. These are the temperatures here. And um, the spread of enhanced precipitation and, and windy conditions will affect the northwest through California with rain and high elevation snows later in the week and into the weekend. So we'll go back to the surface now. This is GFS, so it'll be bringing stuff from much of the western states. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about um, the weather now occurring. Um, this is the amount of shear in the atmosphere that will uh, likely bring um, so severe storms to parts of, of the north, uh, the Midwest, and the South. And then we'll look here at, what do I have here? Oh, yeah, significant um, tornado, possibility of tornadoes. Okay, the greatest probability would be across this area here. Now, we'll take a look at the radar map. And there's currently uh, severe thunderstorm warnings here across this area. Now, we have this one here. Uh, we'll take a look uh, at this one. And this is uh, for North Central Logan and Northwestern Payne counties. It's canceled. So this hasn't updated yet. Then we'll look at the other one. This is in effect um, for Northwestern Osage County till 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And then we have this other one here, and this is in effect uh, for Chag uh, I can't say that. Chagatua County in southeast Arkansas. And this is in effect till 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And one more, and this is in effect for Central. Uh, I think we did this one already. So um, there's a bunch of uh, severe thunderstorms warning now. This is the um, relatively a uh, relative map and this shows the winds coming in and away from the radar so um, 
this hasn't detected any tornadoes as of yet. But you can see here, the size of hail is about 1.35 inches hail. So that's pretty big hail. And also down here, 1.25 inches hail. And we'll take a look here at the storm reports. We have hail um, in, in uh, Logan, Oklahoma. And this is about two inches estimated in diameter. So this is a lot of severe storm activity that's occurring across this region. And this will likely continue through the next week as this weather moves eastward. All right, now we're going to look at the period for uh, April 9th to 13th. Go here to the 9th, 13th. Okay, we still have our ridge here. It doesn't seem to be as strong. It seems to be lifting out. We still have above normal heights here. Below normal heights cover much of the Arctic region. And um, we have a trough in the west, ridge in the east. Still uh, still a bit of a split flow. Here's the northern stream. Here's the southern stream. So uh, for this forecast period on cone 4, below normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for a, uh, a number of 4 to 6 degrees below normal. Greatest anomalies here. Above normal, pre above normal temperatures are forecast for this region. But the numbers can reach eight, as far as 8 degrees above normal in some locations. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. The probability of occurrence is near 40%. And then we have below normal precipitation here along the East Coast. Probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we're going to look ahead to the period for April 14th to the 18th. And pretty much of a zone of flow across much of the country, although the GFS tries to bring the trough into the northeast. But below normal heights cover this region here. And so overall, above normal uh, heights with the zone of flow. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures for much of the country. And anomalies could be as high as, as 10 degrees above normal in some locations. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of currents 35% above normal precipitation here. Southern Plains, and for this region, probability of currents is near 35%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for April 4th to the 18th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather, and have a good day.